Hi, and welcome to another session of Whiteboard with Laurie O'Donoghue from Total Management Training. Today I'm going to talk about hazardous chemicals emergency procedures. I've talked in previous sessions about safety data sheets. Safety data sheets will give you information about how a chemical is going to react in the workplace, what the exposures are, what could happen. We need to then interpret that into emergency procedures in the workplace. Depending on the amount of substance that you have, the risks associated with that substance, we may need to put in specific emergency procedures. And there's two things we need to consider. We need to consider the emergency preparedness. What do we need to do in relation to managing that? As an extension of that, we need to look at emergency equipment. So let's have a look at those in a little bit more detail. The first is we need to have an emergency plan. The emergency plan is about planning for that emergency. In other words, how do we manage the process? What equipment do we need? What training do we need to give the people? So it's actually planning for the emergency, whereas the actual emergency procedures is the response. And the response will have to deal with how we deal with a spill. Is there a lease? What if a worker was exposed to it? How would we respond there? Do we need to have people going and rescue with breathing apparatus? How we would control a fire or explosion? And are there any responses we need to put in place for an off-site consideration? For example, if our work site is alongside a school, what will we do to make sure that that substance or a release of that substance is not going to impact on the school? So there are your emergency procedures. We need to then implement that through some training with our workers and some testing. We might do some drills to make sure they work effectively and conduct a review of the plan. So that is our emergency preparedness and our emergency procedures. Whereas we might look for our, as part of this, at the emergency equipment we require in the site, which is things like PPE, spill kits, first aid kits, fire protection systems and communications. Very simple session on emergency preparedness for hazardous chemicals. You need to though go back to your safety data sheets and do an evaluation of what the risk levels are going to be to develop up what type of emergency preparedness you need. If you like this video, then hit the like button below. Why not share this with your friends and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding these tips and if you are going to implement them. Thank you so much and I will see you on our next video.